Welcome back to the Bombardiers. I'm Ray. This is Dante, and we're playing Doom Eternal and Dante. Have you seen Beastars? Yes, I have. And how did you feel? Um, a little weird, actually. Did you, is it because honest. you loved the rabbit? No, actually, I didn't. I think that was like the. No, that actually wasn't the weird Ooh. part about the anime. It was the. There's a lot of weird things about that anime. Uh, because I've seen, uh, here's the problem that I have with the anime. I've mm -hmm. seen that type of like boarding school boy meets mm -hmm. girl type uh, anime setting before. It was weird mm -hmm. seeing it done as animals. Like I felt like I was watching a Zootopia version of um, this old manga that I used to read. Mm -hmm. uh, the part that weirded me out about it was uh, not just the sex, but the sex with other animals. And then there was another. It, it really made you question like. It made you question like any anthropomorphic uh, movie that ever came out, especially when mm -hmm. it comes to the aspect of food. This one kind of did a good job mm -hmm. at answering it, though. So in the society, there are you know predators and there are mm -hmm. prey, kind of just like Zootopia. Um, mm -hmm. In the show, they touch upon like the the lifestyles of someone who is just by nature designed mm -hmm. to hunt kill and eat meat um mm -hmm. but apparently there's like a law that's been put in place basically saying like hey we're gonna live in harmony despite mm -hmm. you having to fight against like your own animalistic nature um mm -hmm. so the main character lagoshi is um is a wolf and a very tall wolf yes. at that he sure is who's kind of like he's not wolf there's nothing wolf like about him he, like he's super passive he mm -hmm. doesn't bear his fangs um but he fights against like his animal instinct to like hunt mm -hmm. and kill and consume meat yes. and other creatures um there is a rabbit character named Haru sure is. who is a little sultry we'll we'll leave it at that I actually hate that character motivation. It was, I just, ugh. That's a whole other rant and I don't want to interrupt you, but like the whole, I'm a woman and I sleep with a bunch of men to make myself feel better about my life circumstances. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, I didn't understand. Like, that's the part that I, I think that's also the reason why I had such a problem with the anime because I'm just like, okay, so she's a rabbit that fucks. She, yeah, she that, sure does. That's like the biggest... I guess that's the biggest, like, rabbit stereotype. But the reason why she fucks doesn't make sense to me. No, it doesn't make sense at all. Because her that's, her motivation, not her motivation, her reason for doing it is because she mm -hmm. never wanted to be looked upon as, like, this frail mm -hmm. creature. So you just fuck, you just fuck on the reg? Yeah. Just to... It's... What point yeah, is... Yeah, like... <laughs> what's the point being proved there is what I'm trying to... What I've been trying to figure out. No, I I completely get you. And it's a really common trope in literature, especially, where typically male authors write a female character and it's like, oh, yes, the female gets power from sexually dominating men. Even if they're not, like, in a dominant role in the sexual act, it's like... Which she isn't. The women have the power. Exactly. And it's just, like, a power play and a really stupid one... And it's not how life works, but it's how a bunch of writers think life works. So it's just another version of that, and it irritates the crap out of me. Because it's like the most boring, cliche, obnoxious personality drive ever. Yeah, I think the only thing um, that, that keeps it from being like, oh, this is boring, is probably just the fact that they are animals, and it's an anime. And like, yeah. but still, if you're if you're if you just have like one thinking like brain cell, it makes you question like certain shit about the show, which apparently the manga that it's based on mm -hmm. uh, lends itself a little better to like that type of scenario because they all mm -hmm. go through like different like character arcs and better explanations on like why this person is this way or why is society like this? Why does fucking this character do this? Which I guess is typical because, mm -hmm. you know, animes never really get into too much detail. Oh my fucking god, I just realized what I just did. Oh, interesting. This is the fucking, this is the shit that we spent uh, three episodes oh, on that's trying right. to, um... I'm I remember. I'm not gonna have fun with this. You poor um, thing. But anyway, I don't hate Beastars, I just think it's, it's weird. 
it is weird. I watched Beastars. I enjoyed it, but I also thought it was weird. Um, I don't better time I really don't like. Animal. <laughs> yeah, I really don't like Haru's motivation. That really irritates me because, again, and this is I don't want to get like I don't want even Lagoshi's motivation is a bit dumb. Like it's it is, but much. like with Haru's thing, like that whole again, the whole women derive power from sex thing. It's there's this very common like thread Valley. in anti-feminist spaces and rhetoric where it's like. Um, well, women control all the sex. And if you really think about the entire shit she's saying is, I'm offended because women get to decide who fucks them. Um, like, it's failed. It's because you'd never hear, like, a dude be like, oh, I get to control, you know, another dude not fucking me, and therefore they should find that offensive. Of course they don't. It's ridiculous. It's just like, you're complaining about someone having consent over their own body. And the manifestation of that is this whole common fucking trope where it's like women gain power and and like self-esteem and various personality oh, drives through sex. It's obnoxious. I'm sorry for ranting. <laughs> it's no, 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 it's fine. It's fine. Of mine. I just wanted to. Ah, um, God damn, I'm not gonna spend 15 episodes trying to do this fucking shit. I really am no, not. No, I don't blame you. <laughs> I don't blame you. Last time we did this, I was fucking exhausted after the fucking recording session. So I remember we're, we're we had to later. stop recording. <laughs> we had to stop recording because you were like, "No, I'm done. I'm done." Yeah, Before we gotta thing. save that one for later. Uh, I gotta save yes. my my rage juices for when it matters. Um, Absolutely. Uh, last thing I just want to say on B stars. Um, mm -hmm. I get what you say about the horror thing, but even mm -hmm. even if we like explored that just a little bit. There's nothing dom there's nothing that signifies any type of like domination with her character. There's no uh, no. Put it? There's nobody in the series that treats her like, oh, you're a weak little rabbit. Except for Lagoshi, because Lewis Dante. Like, huh? Shh, hold on. <laughs> to oh. answer a phone call and you didn't hear me. Oh. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Pause That's the episode. okay. Hold that thought, because I want to hear what you were saying, but I have to go answer my door. Dude forgot my Snickers. <laughs> we just got into a conversation about fucking <laughs> like, delivery charges for getting shit, and you didn't get the <laughs> one thing you were looking for. I didn't get my Snickers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, Rachel. I don't mean to laugh. It's okay. All right, let's cut back in, and then can you start over with your story about Lagoshi because I missed it. I can't even remember what I was writing about, to be honest. <laughs> Oh shit, oh. sorry. We're back from de uh, technical difficulties, and I was ranting about how I hated Haru's motivation, and you were saying something about how there was no dominance aspect in it? Um, right, Haru's, uh, Haru's sexual nature, what brought upon, uh, okay, yes. we're talking about what brought upon Haru's sexual nature. It didn't make sense to me, because mm -hmm. she doesn't, she never displayed any, any sort of, like, Dominance. Mm -hmm. Not like during the scenes, but just her overall character just didn't make sense to what her motivation was. She didn't want to be looked down as just some kind of weak creature, so she had mm -hmm. sex with other weaker creatures. I can understand that she had like a fetish for well, predators in that aspect, but no, mm -hmm. like every character she ever slept with was also another weaker uh, prey mm -hmm. type character. An herbivore, God. essentially. Damn it. Yeah. yeah, herbivore. Um, except for Lewis, but Lewis, Lewis, I, I think is the only uh, person's uh, the only character that kind of made sense in the show. He was a Who's Lewis again? Because I don't remember him. Lewis is the deer. Oh yeah, well he doesn't he later become kind of a douche. Uh, I think he's always been a douche. I think that's his whole mm -hmm. that's his whole character. But there's a there's a gotcha. logical there's a reason to that though. Like uh, in the story, mm -hmm. apparently. This is gonna be spoilers too for motherfuckers who haven't seen V Stars, but <laughs> get over it. We're mm -hmm. spoiling for you. Um, Lewis's uh, okay. When Lewis was younger, he was captured by a fucking black market uh, mm -hmm. meat harvester, basically type of organization um, that was led by this guy who wound up taking a liking to Lewis after he tried to take a knife and kill himself mm -hmm. before the predators could even you know get to him. So he just mm -hmm. said, fuck it. I'm going to take this kid under my wing. Turns out the guy was a fucking lion. Um, uh. And didn't have, like, any sort of, like, air to his entire 
company and fortune and shit. So you're gonna wind up making Lewis kind of like his son. Uh, mm -hmm. So Lewis's biggest thing in life was never to be looked at like a weak prey. He always wanted to be the predator. So what pisses him off more is the fact that uh, Lagoshi is this big fucking wolf who acts mm -hmm. who acts like a fucking passive uh, like herbivore. Mm -hmm. So he tries to like gore him into doing shit like here or bite me, bury your fucking fangs, do something wolf like. Which I guess yeah. kind of like everybody's need for him to do something in the show like that. Um, which mm -hmm. he only kind of does it when either Harl's in trouble or I guess when he smells meat. I guess. Mm -hmm. um, but his character yeah. made more sense to me than anybody else. I can get that. The one thing... So again, I did enjoy Beastars. I thought it was weird. The one thing that really squicked me out, and it's such a little thing and I don't know why it creeps me out, but like, there's a scene where Haru and Legoshi are in a bedroom and... Oh, the sex motel. Yes. And... <laughs> by the way, there's a fantastic love motel in Japan called Jurassic oh, Pork. <laughs> Jurassic Pork? Um, yes. I heard a joke about that. I didn't them, know that was an actual place. <laughs> yes. They theme them, and Jurassic Pork is my favorite. Um... That's so, that's so funny that but, American culture can have some kind of influence on the Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so he puts his hand on her stomach and he's like, oh my god, my hand is as big as her entire upper body. And this turns him on. I'm like, that's weird. That's a weird thing. Uh, yes, And it I is don't know why, but it's weird. It is weird, but he's, he's a fucking... Uh. He's a recluse. He's a recluse. Like he, ne he's never been like an outgoing character, which is kind of like, mm -hmm. per his fucking you know character development, is like, oh, he, he finally meets a he finally meets a girl, and it just happens to be a fucking rabbit who likes a fuck, um, mm -hmm. who doesn't care about the <laughs> fact that he's a wolf because like, uh -huh. in the first two or three episodes, she was willing to give him a fucking blowjob, which That's also right. quote was very fucking weird. <laughs> um, shit! Because from my understanding, she's never slept with another uh, predator. At least I don't think mm -hmm. so. Um, in the show at all. Ow. God damn these fucking demon fights. <laughs> trying to rant about a fucking furry show and you're not letting me. Yeah. God, I bet there's a lot of very happy furries with these stars. Probably. Uh, I'm sure. And, you know, we rip on furries a lot in this video. Really I do. happen to know a furry I can personally. rip on furries, though. Lovely... I've made fucking artwork for the community, so... Yeah, like, and it's it's a nice community. They're nice people. They seem happy. They're pretty chill. People make fun of them, and they're still, like, just really nice and welcoming. So, furries, <laughs> we actually genuinely appreciate you. Yeah, we do. Um, we're just we being just... douche chimps. I'm just not, you know, keen on the fact of dressing up like a fucking character and fucking... Yeah. So I also can't stand the word. Just, no. I, I, yeah. But I've never been into, like, costume sex. That's why I don't get into, like, the BDSM suits and uh, fucking safe words and shit like that. I mean, BDSM is great. You don't have to have suits for it. Uh, that's true. I, I guess. Ask me how I know in the comments below. <laughs> <laughs> don't run for your life. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, yeah, my only I promise BDSM you, you can have all sorts of... <laughs> Yeah, you can have all sorts of BDSM sex without greasing yourself up and slipping into a zentai. I promise. Is that what it's called? just a bonus if you do. I mean, it's what one version of them are called. Oh, all I know is like there's the a gimp lot of different ones. And like there's yeah, there's gimp suits, and then there's zentai, which there's like a distinction like I don't remember. It does. It does sound like hentai. <laughs> I like hentai. Surprising <laughs> no one. <laughs> Surprising no one. <laughs> I mean, I do too. Like, what the fuck? Uh, that's what always shocks yeah. me about people too. It's like black people don't uh, don't watch it tight. Yes, the fuck. Oh, have Whoa. you been talking to the Lapo again? Yes, I have. <laughs> 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 it's not true. Like, there are there are a group of black people who do like hentai. <laughs> I mean, and still have fully functioning girlfriends. So there's that. Um, <laughs> it's just like anime doesn't discriminate. They just porn. Mm-hmm. Yep. I know why I don't. <laughs> Horn is an interesting beast. Yes, it is. There's there's one for everybody. If there isn't, you are probably just asexual. Yeah. 
Probably. I'm sure there's asexual porn out there. There must be like cuddle porn somewhere. Cuddle porn. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just having a nice, that... friendly cuddle sleep. <laughs> That's fucking adorable. There's something, wholes <laughs> there's something wholesome about that. There is actually a really cute, I don't know if it's still there, but a dude started uploading really cute, wholesome videos to Pornhub, but with like porn titles. Um, let me see if I can Google this for you, can actually. I just say I really hate that shit? <laughs> Why? I don't like, if I'm going to go to Pornhub, I want to see porn. I don't want to see a fucking gameplay video of you playing like Fortnite or Call of Duty or something saying, uh, uh, fucking Virgin Chad gets fucked by bigger black dick or some shit like that and it's just some guy <laughs> in a fucking black, <laughs> a black character just mowing through people in the video game wow. like if I'm okay, gonna go well, up there I'm going up there and look for porn <laughs> like not to watch gameplay videos okay but listen to this the guy's name is Ryan Creamer which makes this way better <laughs> okay and like his YouTube like, listen to these titles on Pornhub like um woman not woken up by man's penis um, <laughs> marathon edging session where he's like doing the edge of his garden. Um, <laughs> yes, husband watches as another man says incredibly nice things to his wife. Um, two Canadian guys born. take turns plugging every hole, and they're playing that you know game where you drop the little like checkers into the slot. I can't remember what it's called. Um, oh, connect four. Yes, that one. Um, I say my prayers before bed. <laughs> you know, just shit like that. It's pretty, it's cute. It's funny. Uh, that's fucking funny. Eh, no, that's funny. Right? Stepdad wishes daughter good night, then wish or watches Hoosiers in the other room. Which is why, I, and I will yeah. continue to say this, Pornhub. I don't know what, who your parent company is, or if you even have a parent company. But here's an idea. Make a fucking uh -huh. video platform that people can upload to. That is mm -hmm. superior to YouTube because a lot of people know Pornhub, and if they find out that you created a video upload platform that doesn't offer porn, I'm pretty sure a lot of people <laughs> would upload to it. You've got a foot in this industry. Uh. Get your asses on it. Oh, hey, this is my favorite one. Two black men and I enjoy one another's company. And there's these two really hot, buff black dudes, and they're just like sitting there watching a movie eating popcorn. Oh, I fucking love it. It's fantastic. See, this is great. No okay, one will I'll ever tell me this is not that. great. Thank you. Um, what am I supposed to do here? He's darling. Wow, he's only 26. He looks a lot older. Oh, the black guys or the guy? <laughs> the guy, Ryan Kramer. Oh. Because <laughs> I'm like, uh... Yes. Yes. Oh, look. See, here's more titles. I, your stepbrother, decline your advances, but am flattered nonetheless. <laughs> okay, that one's really on the nose. I like it. <laughs> I ride in a taxi and don't have sex with the driver. Yeah. Shit like that. Love it. This is my favorite <laughs> thing. Funny. Have we talked about Dr. Chuck Tingle, by the way? Who the fuck is Dr. Chuck <gasps> Tingle? Why do I feel like I've heard that name before? Dante, do you not know the magnificence of Dr. Chuck Tingle? No, but I feel like you're going to tell me. Oh, we sure are, but we're probably going to have to do that on the next episode. Wait, is it that time already? It feel, I think it is, isn't it? Yeah. Editor? I think it is. Yeah. I think it is. yeah. yeah the editor can't tell us. I don't know why I asked him, but yeah. yeah. Um, all right. See you in the next video, guys. We're going to talk about Dr. Chuck Tingle and how... Hold on. Let me find a good one. He was pounded in the butt by his second Hugo. Oh, okay. I'm going to ask what, that fuck, what the fuck that means in the next episode. Bye. Okay. <laughs> bye, friends.